Hey filmmakers, Shungli here. In this video, I'm showing you how to make this text slide review inside of Premiere Pro 2017. So actually before I already made a preset of text slides, which works uh, until 2017, the Creative Cloud 2017, because there is an issue with the offset effects because it doesn't work properly with the text effect nor work properly with any uh, PNG files uh, that has transparency because it turns the transparency into black. I'm not sure why it does that, but uh, Premiere Pro still has to fix that issue. So for now, uh, pretty much you have to do this manually with uh, this tutorial, how I'm going to show you how to achieve that text slide effect. So first things first, hit the subscribe button so you're always updated when I'm releasing a new video. Here we have a video without any text on top of it. So we're now going to add the text, going to hit the T tool or hit this button here. And we're going to just click on the screen. We're going to type in text slide. Make this text bigger here. The reason why I'm moving it here instead of in the effects control is that the effects control has like a limit of 400 while this is unlimited on this end. Let's center this text and manual move it a little bit lower because the text actual center isn't or the actual center of it is not uh, correctly done with these alignments. Move this one down here. And the effect we're going to use is crop. So we're going to type in here crop and put this in here. So what we're basically going to do is crop the text from the top or left, right, just not cropping it. So just searching for the edge where it just not crop it. So we can actually do it from every angle. So now I cropped it from every angle. So having that done, if we are going to move the text, it's going to disappear behind those cropped areas. So that is quite, if you understand what it does, uh, you will know how to do the rest after this. But basically going to show you if I'm going to move this text down, it's going to hit that invisible wall quite fast and if I move it left or right it hits an invisible wall also go all the way to the start hold down shift arrow three times one two three to jump 15 frames let's hit toggle animation to add a keyframe and here from here we can actually go choose which direction we want it to come from so I actually want to go top down so move it up and actually, I see this top isn't correctly done. So now it's correctly done. If we move top, directly hides behind it. So we move it all the way up until we don't see the text anymore. Actually, this one we change to ease in. Actually, drop this down and move this bezier so that it's a more of a hill and it's actually slows down much nicer and now actually going here and cut this text here we want to Go here, hold down shift and arrow three times to the left to jump 15 frames. Now hit add, uh, yeah, add a keyframe here. Now go slightly back to the back of it and we're going to move this down until we don't see the text. Move this all the way to the back, actually change this to linear and then move it to the back. Now change this so it matches the this one on there. So it matches this shape but mirrored. So now if we play it, we can see how the text slides out. Let's move this a little bit back. 
So that looks nice. And now we want to have one that is actually sliding left and right. And we're going to do pretty much the same thing. So hold down shift arrow three times to the right, one, two, three. At positioning, we are going to actually turn this one off for once and then turn it on again to add a keyframe. Here we're going to move this all the way to the left so it hides behind there. Same thing, change this to is in. We're going to change this to look like that so that it slows down pretty nicely and going to the end of here. Hold down shift arrow to the left three times, one, two, three. Add a keyframe here. And now we're going to move this all the way to the right. So we don't see the text. Change this to linear. And move this bezier so it matches the hill on this side. Now if we play both of them, see the text slide down, text slide on left to right. So that was the text slide tutorial inside of Premiere Pro. Hope you guys liked this video and please give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more upcoming videos, please subscribe. Also check out my other videos on this channel. If you have any questions, please comment below or join us on our Facebook group. There's a link in the description below. And I hope to see you the next time. Bye bye.